Assalamu alaikum beautiful people. I hope everybody will be fine. Guys, how to become a successful civil engineer after completion BTEC, BS or diploma? Guys, this is very important for every civil engineering student to know how you can become a successful civil engineer. So this is the topic for today and I will guide you if you want to become a successful civil engineer. So you should follow these steps which I am telling you. Let's start. If this topic is helpful for you, so you may like this video. Remember guys, if you want to become a successful civil engineer after completion, BTEC, RBS, even diploma, okay? So you should have experience experience is very important to become a successful civil engineer you can see if you completed btec rbs so you know about all the subjects in civil engineering like quantity land survey steel structure design uh, autocad software hydraulics because we have about 33 subjects in civil engineering so now how you will become a successful after reading these books in four years or in six years right so you should have you should have experience you should have knowledge about site construction site now how you will get experience nowadays you can see in different countries you can see when you uh, want to get a job so when you apply for the job so they will tell you minimum five years experience three years experience so if you are fresh so how you will get a job because the companies need an expert engineer which has minimum five years experience so now you need to get experience how you will get experience the first point you need to go a mega project to mega project nowadays you can see uh, we have a lot of contractors in your city and township okay so when you want to get experience from a local contractor so this is wrong don't go there and don't start experience with a local contractor because you know a majority of the contractors I saw them they are uneducated so what you will learn from them on site so therefore go to mega projects minimum four story five story six story so there you should join and get experience if they don't have for example if the mega project nowadays the mega project uh, project has uh, maximum engineer site engineers also uh, more people are there okay related in civil engineering so if they don't have a site supervisor site engineer and you are alone there so you can't learn from the contractor so don't waste your time so i saw many people they waste about four to five years on site even they don't know how to calculate uh, quantity of steel on site how much steel do you require even they don't know what is beam what is column they are just wasting their time just for the pocket money for five ten thousand fifteen thousand maximum fifteen thousand rupees they are working on construction site and if someone asks from them what are you doing so they will tell you i'm getting experience here but no they are not getting experience they are just working for pocket money so don't waste your time this is the first thing okay go to the mega project if there is site supervisor site engineer so you will learn something new from them so if there is a local contractor so you are not able to learn something there don't waste your time so go to mega projects right if there is a proper design especially steel structure design in the mega project then you can learn the second point you should have knowledge about AutoCAD software. Guys, AutoCAD software is very important for every civil engineering student to make some money by AutoCAD software. Actually, we all people, this is the reality. All people after completion diploma, we take, they want to get a job. Why they want to get a job? To make some money. So therefore, everybody is working for the money. So therefore, to make a good money, you should have knowledge about AutoCAD software. This is guys the reality. 
Okay, so you should have knowledge about AutoCAD software, about Revit, uh, SketchUp, nowadays Lumion software to make animation, etc. on that. You should have knowledge about quantity survey. So therefore, if you know about AutoCAD software, so AutoCAD software can help you on construction site. Because on the construction site, you will learn um, majority of the thing is related uh, with measurement, okay? So you will know what is the size of column, size of beam, everything. So there, if you know about the AutoCAD software, so AutoCAD software can push you on construction site. And learn technical things. So if you are thinking, I completed BTEC or BS Civil Engineering and I have knowledge, but this is just in books. So these things you can't implement on construction site. So the cons on the construction site there is something new. So therefore, keep in your mind one thing. If you don't have experience, so you can't go ahead. Don't waste your time to apply for the job. So if you want to improve yourself, so get experience. Anywhere. If you want to get, so if you have a little bit experience, so the salary will be best for you. So if you don't have experience and you get a job in any department, so you will take minimum salary there, okay? Just for the pocket money. Otherwise, if you want to improve yourself, so get experience, you should have knowledge about the technical terms, okay? So if you are working as a local, uh, project with a local contractor if there isn't any expert engineer so you will waste your time so guys these are some three four tips which I've discussed the front of you what is the reality of civil engineer and how you can become a successful civil engineer so if you have knowledge about construction site so many people uh, they will tell you come to our site and we will give you the maximum salary there compared to this one Okay, so nowadays everything is depend on the experience. So if you have good experience, so you will have a good salary. So if you don't have experience, so you will be just waste your time. Maybe this video can help you. And this is the reality. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Goodbye.